Welcome to the World Tarot. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Libra for the week starting the 31st of January to the 6th of February 2022. Holy Spirit, please show me the Libras who need to hear these messages for the coming week. Nine of Pentacles. You could be on the Virgo Libra cusp here or you could have strong Virgo in your chart. You could have a nine life path maybe. You could be single and independent. You could be self-employed. You might have your own business here with the Nine of Pentacles and the King of Wands. So you might be doing very well financially. You're happily single and ready to mingle. Oh my God, Seven of Pentacles. Four of Wands. You might even be getting into a relationship maybe with a King of Wands. You saw how I had the King of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So this could be a man coming towards you. An Aries or a Leo coming towards you. Because they want... Maybe they want to work with you or they want some kind of relationship with you. Seven is Libra again. So they could see you as very hard working. Yeah, they think they can have a lot of abundance with you. Again, they might want to celebrate with you. They might want to work with you. They might want a relationship with you. It could be different things here. 97, the year 1997 could be significant for you somehow. Maybe you're born in 97 or something about that year. Also, the 9th of July or the 7th of September could be significant. This is in um, Cancer and Virgo seasons, right? So Cancer and Virgo could be significant for you. Maybe you also have Cancer and Virgo in your chart. Okay. So what's happening with this King of Wands? Oh my god, don't throw everything on the floor. So yeah, you might be dealing with a fire sign, maybe specifically a Leo. Leo or Aries. Oh my god, look, more fire. Sagittarius, all the fire signs are here. Eight of Swords. King of Cups. This person can get over you. This person could have been a player in the past. Um, maybe they thought they played you, but they played themselves, and now they're stuck on you, they're in love with you. And look, they look like they're crying. Look at this King of Cups. He looks so sad. He's like the saddest king in the whole deck. Okay, so this guy uh, is madly in love with you. They could have been in love with you for a very long time, but they just kind of didn't admit it to themselves, maybe. Okay, this person could have been stuck in their ways. Maybe they're still stuck in their ways. Maybe they're just stuck on you. Uh, okay, so does this person love you? I don't know, look at that, Knight of Swords with the Seven of... Okay, so they're in two minds. This person could be kind of sneaky here with the Seven of Swords and Knight of Cups with Knight of Swords. This is somebody... This is like the Chariot energy or the Two of Swords energy. I don't know, should I go this way or that way? Should I follow my heart or my mind? There's no meeting of the mind and the heart for this person. This person could be... Could have been used to being more uh, reasonable, uh, rational, you know? They're not used to following their heart. They're used to following their mind, maybe. And now their heart and their mind are pulling them in two different directions. And maybe that's why they're acting sneaky. Maybe this person has cheated on you or they betrayed you in the past. And they don't know how to come towards you again. Holy Spirit, does this person have good intentions towards Libra? Does this Leo or whatever, Leo, Scorpio, Gemini, Cancer, Sagittarius... Aquarius, we've got lots of signs for this person here. Aries too. Holy Spirit, does this person have good intentions towards Libra? Does this guy, because I think it's a guy, we have only masculine energy for this person. So it's clearly a guy coming towards Libra. Two of Swords. Two of Swords is a decision. So again, what did I say? I said that the Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords makes me think of the Two of Swords and the Chariot. So this person, again, they're undecided what to do. I asked if they have good intentions. They don't even know what intentions they have. They don't know what decision to make. Also, the Two of Swords could talk about... This is Libra energy, so it could talk about giving somebody justice, right? Libra is 11. This is a 2. So maybe this person wants to give you justice, but they don't know how. So, can you trust this person or should you block them? Because Two of Swords could also mean that you should block this person out of your life, right? And not give them any energy. So, can you? Should you talk to this person? What should you talk about? But I don't know if they're actually coming towards you. This person might just think about you obsessively without ever saying anything. Is this person actually going to say something to you this week? <laughs> oh my god, they're juggling. 
So they have no idea what to do. Ten of Swords. Actually, they might let it go. Or something's gonna end this week. This relationship might end for good, actually. Or this person might try to betray you because we've got Seven of Swords and Ten of Swords. So this person might try to betray you, actually. So this person's very... Again, they don't know if they love you or they hate you here. It's very strange. I don't know what kind of uh, issues you've had with this person, what kind of relationship you've had in the past, but it's like they don't know if to love you or to kill you. I don't know. Okay. Should you just end it with this person? Maybe you need to cut the cord, right? Because this person could be pulling on you energetically, but they're not actually doing anything in the in the in the four D. I said the, all, I almost said in the four D. I don't know why, in the three D. I mean, ten of pentacles. With the ten of pentacles here, no matter uh, what, it looks like things are going to be going very well for you. Six of, oh my god. So we've got Six of Swords. You see, the Six of Swords r went run right on top of the Seven of Swords. So this person might want to move into calmer waters with you. Maybe there was betrayal in the past and they want to get over the betrayal. They want to offer you love here. They, they want stability with you. Holy Spirit, can, can Libra accept this offer? Heartbreak. King of Swords, no. Uh, I think this person's setting a trap for you. They're pretending to to want to come and to calm the situation down. They're pretending that they're apologizing. They're pretending that they want the Ten of Pentacles. Actually, they're gonna break your heart. Look how interesting this is. You've got Six of Cups on top of the Knight of Cups, which is one side of them, the side that they're showing you, and then we've got Knight of Swords with the Three of Swords. This is what their true intentions are. That's why this person's in two minds. They're not really in two minds. They already know what they want to do. It's just that they're not going to show you what they want to do, really. Is this person setting a trap for Libra here? Holy Spirit, is this man setting a trap for Libra? I think it's some kind of revenge. Yeah. Holy Spirit, is this man setting a trap for Libra? I think so. With the Four of Pentacles, here's like... I had you, right? You need to protect yourself from the heartbreak, right? Three of Swords, they're coming with the sword, so you need to protect your heart. Queen of Wands, um, listen to your intuition. <sighs> Holy Spirit, should Libra reject this person at all cost? Again, Queen of Wands, Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is talking about working with others. Maybe, again, ask your angels, ask your guides, ask the divine, and use your intuition. Holy Spirit, what advice do you have uh, for Libra when this person comes towards them? If they do. Anxiety. Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. The advice is anxiety. You should be careful. You should be careful with your thoughts when this person comes towards you. Uh, Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, I think you need to take care of yourself and start something new on your own without this person. Should Libra reject this person? Should Libra reject this person? Holy Spirit, show me the truth. Should Libra reject this person? Holy Spirit, show me the truth. Should Libra... Yes, they should. Okay, clear, yes. So, Ten of Swords, end it. Yeah, this person's coming to... Um, to have revenge for something. Maybe they feel like you wronged them in some kind of way. I don't know how. Maybe you haven't. But this person, that's how they see it. As you've wronged them. So, whatever you've done... This person will pretend to be nice and loving and that they want a relationship, but they actually want to break, break your heart. So you need to end it before this person ends you because there's a love-hate relationship here. So that's um, 
it might not even be love hate it might just they might just pretend that they love you but they actually just hate you because maybe you've hurt them in the past or something okay so say no say no